Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of MK's Kitchen. So today we're going to do a little sweet treat with a little healthiness on the side. We're going to do turtle cheesecake baked apples. A little sweet, a little chocolate, a little caramel, a little cream cheese, all of that. <laughs> so y'all, let's get into these ingredients for today. <laughs> let's go. So for our ingredients today, we have our freshly washed apples that we've already washed with our fruit and vegetable wash. We have salted butter, cream cheese, half of a lemon, chopped pecans, powdered sugar, caramel syrup, vanilla flavoring. We have our little pan that we're gonna put our apples in and we have some water that we're going to create a water bath for for our apples. And that's pretty much it for today, guys. You can use melted chocolate for your turtle creation, but I'm not gonna use chocolate today. We're just gonna keep it with caramel and cream cheese. So y'all, let's get into cutting these little beautiful Granny Smiths and let's get it. <laughs> All right, y'all, so for our apples, we are going to take our knife. We're going to cut the tops off of our apples. And we're going to take a melon core, or you can take a, um, like a teaspoon or something around it, like an ice cream scoop, so we can create a hole in our apple, which is where our filling will go. So make sure you get those seeds out of there. You don't want to go too deep, but just deep enough to where you can have a good feeling in your apple. y'all so now that we have our apples cored we're going to take that half of lemon we're just going to pour that juice on there to keep it from browning so much make sure you get those seeds out the way okay <laughs> and don't worry about it tasting like lemon because it's not <laughs> And there's our little lemon squeeze apples. We gotta get that little seed out of that one. <laughs> uh oh. Can't get the seed out. Alright, we're gonna move these to our pan. And as I mentioned, we are going to create a water bath with our water that will help our apples so that they won't dry out when they're baking. The water just helps create a little steam to keep it moist. So that should be enough, just enough for it to cover <laughs> the bottoms of our apple. We're gonna move this to our oven which is set to 375 degrees. We're gonna get our apples to baking. All right, so we're gonna put our apples into our 370 degree oven. And we're going to let this cook for about 45 minutes and we're gonna check on it. And hopefully they'll be ready. Have fun, Granny Smith. <laughs> All our apples are in the oven. We're gonna go ahead and make our cream cheese frosting that's going to go in the center of our apples so we're going to take half of that salted butter we're going to take half 
of our cream cheese. And we're going to take a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. And we're going to take two cups of our powdered sugar, one cup at a time. <laughs> Be careful. How the sugar likes to fly. <laughs> Speed that up a little bit. Got a second cup of powder sugar. Look at that. So this is what our cream cheese frosting is looking like. Scrape the sides, make sure everything's together. I'll do a little taste test. <laughs> oh, it tastes good. <laughs> so, we're gonna put this in the fridge to get a little bit thicker while we wait on our apples to get finished. And that's about it, y'all. We're gonna be back to decorate our little baked apples. <laughs> See you in a minute. We had our apples in the oven for about 45, 50 minute-ish, and this is how they're looking. We've let them cool down for about 20 minutes. So time for our favorite part to decorate. So we got our caramel, we got our pretzels, we got pecans, we got chocolate, and we got, of course, our cream cheese cheesecake frosting. So let's get to decorating, guys. <laughs> and first things first, we are going to fill our apples up with our cheesecake frosting. And they're still a little warm, which we want. That way when we bite into this, we're gonna take some pecans. We're going to take our caramel. use chocolate but for decoration sake let's go ahead and add a little bit of chocolate <laughs> alright y'all there is our baked apple turtle cheesecake <laughs> or our turtle cheesecake baked apples <laughs> but it looks so good <laughs> well that's it for today's recipe guys i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like comment subscribe i'll see you later on another episode of mk's kitchen bye <laughs>